welcome to smart dev coder in this video i am going to show you how to decompile an apk file on your android mobile itself instead of uh, decompiling the apk files in your windows systems using apk tool or some gui applications which are based on apk tool itself uh, i have an app called apk tool m apk tool m which also based works based on the apk tool itself but it is very handy and most error free app ever found for mobile devices so i will show you how to decouple it so this is a apk tool m on the top we got an applications option select it and open the installed applications here so there are number of applications installed here for example if i want to decompile this 1dm plus okay i will select it then select decompile then click on okay see no need to think about the options what just came and went just you have to click a button okay the decompiling process has started successfully and it is very smooth so meanwhile i want to tell you that if you want this apk tool m please subscribe to my channel and like this video then also share with your friends who are interested in these kind of things and just dm me okay just send a personal message or just comment it i will contact you and give the apk tool m link for you okay so now you can see it is decompiled and it is showing an option for go to just click on go to you will enter into the project okay so here if you are uh, if you are have any idea or if you did a decompiling process before you should be aware of that the structure of the folders okay you can see this is a root folder you can see this is a res folder a small folder and android manifest.xml file okay so usually the java classes will be showed stored inside the small file small folder and inside the res folder all the graphics like strings dot xml layouts and graphics and drawables anims these things will be what are the xml files will be stored in the res folder and if you know how to edit these things you just go to those files for example if you want to change the app name just open the values folder and open the strings dot xml and inside this you can find the app name okay you can see here app name is here at line 169 1dm plus so you can name it as 1dm plus 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 like that and you can just save this one here and you just go to the root folder again just select compile this project and click on okay that's it no need to select any options there but uh, but drawbacks of this thing is if it is xml you can easily just decompile and edit things and recompile it but if it is a small file that is uh, java classes if you want to search the code and understand it and do modifications so this is the very headache process in the mobile phone for that purpose you can just use the windows only okay you can see how smoothly it is compiling so one more thing is after compiling if you want to install this compiled apk first what you have to do is you have to uh, uninstall the existing apk file on your mobile phone because it is signed with a different key file and this will be signed with a test key it is mandatory to be for any android app to be signed with the same key for giving an update okay and clearly i am telling you this is just for an educational purpose use this method responsibly just for exploring how the files are coded 
like that and how the developers use functionality so if i i will also show you by clicking directly installing without uninstalling the existing apk you can see apk signatures does not match installed application signature okay so click on cancel just to close it and you will uninstall this one okay now go to apk to liam again now install our modded apk then click on open so you can see it is working so this is how you can mod the apk files you can decompile and recompile and install the apk files in android mobile using a software called application called apk to liam thank you for watching if you like this video or if you want to this uh, download this apk to liam file just contact me after subscribing to my channel thank you for watching this is smart dev coder signing off